Hi, question number five. Prove the identity cos 4 theta minus 4 cos of 2 theta is the same as 8 sine to the 4 theta minus 3. And for the second part, we need to solve the equation cos of 4 theta is equal to 4 cos of 2 theta plus 3 for 0 to 360 degrees. Okay, so first of all, this is what we need to prove. Alright, so we're going to be dealing with this like, you know, part by part. F cos of 4 theta, what is cos of 4 theta? Now we all know that cos of um, 2 theta from double angle formula is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta, isn't it? So therefore, what is cos of 4 theta? Cos of 4, th 4 theta will be 1 minus 2 sine square of 2 theta then, because the angle is doubled, alright? If it was 2 theta, it becomes theta. For 4 theta, it becomes 2 theta. So 1 minus 2 sine square of 2 theta. What is sine of 2 theta anyway? It is, um, alright, 2, okay, sine theta, cos theta, and all of that to the square, isn't it? Right, so therefore we have 1 minus 2 times 4, because 2 to the square is 4, and then sine square theta, cos square theta. But what is cos square theta? Cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta, isn't it? So we're going to replace this one, because it is cos square theta, by 1 minus sine square theta. Alright, so all of that now. Therefore we got 1 minus um, 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 sine square theta, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 sine square theta times 1 is 8 sine square theta, minus times minus becomes plus, again 2 times 4 is 8, and then sine square theta times sine square theta is sine to the 4 theta times 8, so 8 sine to the 4 theta. So this is for cos theta. What about this one? This is 4 cos of 2 theta, which is basically 4 times uh, 1 minus 2 sine square theta, and that's going to be 4 minus, what, 4 times 2 is 8, so 8 sine square theta. Now, we have this minus that, therefore all of that expression here, I'm going to say then, um, it's going to be 1 minus 8 sine square theta plus 8 sine to the 4 theta minus all that expression here 4 minus 8 sine square theta now what is 1 minus 4? it is 3 isn't it? it is minus 3 so minus 3 minus 8 sine square theta minus minus 8 sine square theta that becomes zero. Okay, so minus times minus plus, I mean minus minus eight sine square theta, that's a zero. Okay, so plus a zero. Then eight sine to the four theta minus nothing there is plus eight sine to the four theta. So we have eight sine to the four theta minus three, and that has been proved. So this is our first part of the question. Now, for the second part, okay, we need to solve, uh, we are told to solve the equation, okay, um, what is it? Solve cos 4 theta is equal to 4 cos 2 theta plus 3 for 0 less or equal to theta, less or equal to 360 degrees. Alright, so basically we have then cos 4 theta, if you send this on this side, becomes minus 4 cos of 2 theta is equal to 3. Now, we already did that, which is then 8 sine to the 4, minus, 8 sine to the 4 theta minus 3. So this whole expression here is 8 sine to the 4 theta minus 3, then is equal to 3. So 8 
sine to the 4 theta. 3 goes on the other side becomes 6 because 3 plus 3 is 6. So we got then sine of theta is equal to 6 divided by 4 e, sorry, 6 divided by 8 is 3 over 4 which is 0 0.75. 0 0.75. Power 4 it becomes 4th root. So 4th root of 0 0.75. And therefore sine of theta is equal to 0 0.9306. If you work that out in your calculator, you'll end up with 0 0.9306. Let's look at the key angles. Therefore, we've got theta is equal to... So, put that in degrees mode. Okay. So we have then inverse sine of 0 0.9306. 68.5 degrees. Okay, so that is 68.5 degrees. And then how many angles have we got? Plus or minus, okay? So let's look at all the quadrant. So we've got 68.5 degrees. So the second angle will be here. 180 minus that. If you take 100, uh, so the first angle then would be theta is equal to 68.5 degrees. Second angle would be 180 minus 68.5. And that's going to give you 111.5 degrees. What about the second one? The second one is a negative angle. So for negative, I'm going to take it as positive and then look into the negative quadrant. So 68 decimal 5 and the negative quadrant will be this one. So 180 plus this. So you have got 68.5 plus 180 and that's going to give you 248. So 248.5 and for the other angle which is negative it is in this quadrant. Cos is negative in the old silly teachers cheat. Yeah, cos is is negative in this quadrant. So 360 minus 68.5. And if you do it in your calculator, you're gonna end up with um, 291.5. So here are the four angles. I mean sorry, four yeah, four angles basically. That's these are the four solutions to these questions. We've let down all the solution. Question is taken from June 2016, Advanced Level Maths, HSCP 3.